the missing link between humans and apes to the biggest dinosaur ever found in Brazil. Here are 12 amazing fossil discoveries. This is Throwback Thursdays. Hey, thanks to Leela Smith for suggesting this episode. And if you have any suggestions for future episodes, let us know in the comments. Number 12. Hundreds of fossils were revealed when bad weather caused a cliff wall to collapse on a beach of Dorset in the UK. That prompted a swarm of fossil hunters to descend on the beach in an effort to scour the area for the ancient creatures. The majority of fossils discovered have been ammonites. Those are extinct sea creatures distinguished by the intricate spiral shells. Within the 1,000 tons of cliff that fell, many hunters are hoping to find skeletons of marine reptiles and fish that died a Ages ago. Experts think that due to the immensity of the landslide, it would take years for the sea to erode the fallen chunks of shale and mud, meaning there could be a steady supply of fossils yet to be discovered. Number 11. The fossilized leaves of a flesh-eating plant were discovered in Russia, in a mine near the Baltic Sea. Scientists say the newly found species existed during the Eocene epoch and is some 40 million years old. The leaves were found preserved in Baltic amber and display single-cell hairs and multicellular stalked glands. Experts think the ancient plant could be related to the Rorigula plant, better known as the flypaper trap plant which are found in South Africa. The leaves of the newly discovered carnivorous plant show evidence of small tentacles that it would have used to catch prey which it would cover in slime before releasing digestive enzymes. The tentacles absorb nutrients from the prey as do glands on the leaf surface. The Rorigula plant operates in a similar fashion as it uses its leaves covered in sticky glue to trap its small prey, usually insects. Experts think this is the first discovery of a fossilized carnivorous plant trap. Number 10. Two families from Queensland thought they had found a tooth from a giant extinct reptile as they were visiting a remote town in the state's outback. But the bone they discovered at a free fossil finding site in Richmond turned out to belong to a swordfish that lived more than 100 million years ago. At the same site a week later, the near complete skeleton of the ancient fish was unearthed, including its skull and long frontal fins. Experts say the creature was around three meters long and had monstrous teeth, and it was not unlike today's marlin, a top-tier carnivore that preyed on other fast-swimming fish. The extremely rare skeleton went on display at the Chronosaurus Corner, a local museum. Number 9. Fossils found in the Hebei province of northeastern China may turn out to represent the oldest known ancestors of today's modern birds. The fossilized remains of two wading birds are dated at around 130 million years old. Experts say they had tail feathers with a fan shape, and similar to birds of today, the animals had bones that were fused at the tips of the wings. A small projection along the edges of the wings would have helped them maneuver in flight, and that's another parallel to modern-day birds. Birds. The creatures had no feathers, suggesting they belonged to a wading species. Researchers explain that the discovery is so significant because the fossils predate the earliest record of the family by around 5 million years. Experts hope the find can help fill in the gaps of the evolutionary history of today's birds. Number 8. Fossils unearthed in Brazil suggest that dinosaurs and the precursors lived alongside each other some 230 million years ago. The discovery was made at the Santa Maria Formation, one of the oldest known dinosaur fossil sites in the world. Two small dinosaurs were unearthed, along with a creature known as a Lagerpetit. That's the pronunciation we found, anyway. Those are creatures recognized to be the forerunners of dinosaurs. It's the first time such specimens have been found together, making researchers think the discovery means the ancient ancient animals once lived side by side. It could also suggest that as opposed to a quick overtaking of other animals, the rise of dinosaurs occurred more gradually than originally believed. The excellent condition of the legerpeted fossil revealed that the dinosaur's precursor likely was carnivorous, feeding on all types of small critters. Experts think further analysis will reveal more details on how dinosaurs acquired some of their anatomical characteristics. Number 7. Austroposidon magnificus. I hope I got that right. 
Dinosaur bones found in Brazil in the 1950s laid stored away in a museum for decades. But when experts finally got around to analyzing the animal's fossilized bones, they turned out to belong to the largest dinosaur ever found in Brazil. The creature was a long-necked herbivore that measured around 25 meters from nose to tail, while standing around 8 meters tall. And experts have given the big dinosaur a big name, Austroposidon magnificus. Due to the creature's long neck and tail, along with with a large body and relatively small skull, the herbivorous animal is thought to belong to the Titanosaur group. They lived during the Cretaceous period in areas ranging from South America to Australia. This newly identified specimen lived in present-day Brazil around 70 million years ago, and researchers think Austroposidon magnificus might be related to one of the largest dinosaurs ever discovered, Argentinosaurus. Number 6. A complete mammoth skull was discovered on the California island of Santa Rosa, and the unique fossil has experts baffled. Its size is between that of a Colombian mammoth and a pygmy mammoth, but it hasn't been positively identified as either. Researchers believe its true identity will be revealed by its fossilized teeth. That should determine whether it's a Colombian or pygmy mammoth or some as yet unknown transitional species. Experts are also puzzled about the animal's tusks. The right one has the coil character characteristic of an adult, but the left tusk is shorter and slow, which is more characteristic of a juvenile. Charcoal samples taken from near the site indicate this mysterious critter lived around 13,000 years ago. Number 5. Fossils of insects engaged in mating rituals have been discovered in China, and experts think the couple has been holding that pose for around 165 million years. They think the pair was in the midst of procreation when a volcanic eruption released toxic gases that killed them. The wind blew the couple into a lake where they laid buried and protected for millions of years. Researchers uncovered the intact specimen in a region of Inner Mongolia. Fossils of insects caught in flagrante delicto are considered extremely rare, with only 40 ever discovered worldwide. And this newest specimen is thought to predate the oldest known fossil by around 65 million years. Number 4. Countershading is a form of camouflage that is commonly used by animals. The term refers to the coloring that allows creatures to blend into their environments and essentially become invisible to predators. Researchers have discovered the fossils of a dinosaur that used such a technique over 120 million years ago. The dinosaur was named Psittacosaurus, meaning parrot lizard, due to its bird-like beak. Using a well-preserved fossil of the creature from China, experts were able to reconstruct the animal's color patterns, revealing it had a light underside with darker coloring on top, which would have helped the small dinosaurs stay camouflaged in the forest. Psittacosaurus likely had a bipedal walk and weighed about 44 pounds while measuring around 6.5 feet long. Number 3. Frankenstein fossils. Some strange fossils were found in Brazil that date to around 120 million years old. Mysterious monster bugs exhibited physical characteristics from unrelated insect groups. These creatures had the body and wings of a dragonfly, the forelegs of a praying mantis, and wing veins similar to those of a mayfly. The two adults and 30 larval fossils found around the world have been dubbed Frankenstein insects due to their odd mashup of characteristics. The newly discovered group existed during the Cretaceous period, and while they are not thought to have any modern-day descendants, experts think their closest relatives might be mayflies. Number 2. A unique tripartite fossil was found at the Messel Pit in Germany. Now that's a fossil that displays a three-level food chain. In this case, a well-preserved fossilized snake contained the body of a fossilized lizard in its belly, and the lizard contained a fossilized beetle it had eaten. Experts have identified the snake as being related to present-day boas. The lizard was part of a family that includes the modern-day helmeted iguana, but the beetle has been difficult to identify due to its subpar preservation. Thought to be around 48 million years old, the fossilized food chain is dated to the Eocene period and is one of only two tripartite fossils ever discovered. Number 1
Some fossils originally discovered in 2007 provide evidence that humans and apes made a great divergence more than two million years earlier than is commonly thought. The remains of gorilla teeth were found in the Afar Rift of Ethiopia and dated at eight million years. Researchers say the fossils suggest that the ancestors of humans would have split from great apes at least 10 million years ago. Because few fossils of great apes have been located in Africa, some scientists believe that the ancestors of humans and African apes originated in Eurasia. The ancient gorilla teeth are the oldest fossils of mammals that have been found south of the Sahara Desert region, and researchers say the discovery lends credence to the theory that apes, and subsequently early humans, originated in Africa. In all, nine fossils of an extinct gorilla species were found. Experts are hoping the specimens can help produce the accurate dates that lead to when and where the lineage of humans first evolved. This is Throwback Thursdays.